Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. I've had a few requests to talk a little bit about the books that I worked through when I was having lessons and before I was having lessons and since having lessons and all of that sort of stuff. So let's begin. So the very first book I bought when I was 14 was this book by Joel Rothman called Basic Drumming. And I bought it because I wanted to be a better drummer. I wanted to learn more about how to play the drums and how to read and all of that. I didn't have a teacher at the time, but I bought this book and it had so much information that it was kind of like a, a one-stop book for, for, for learning how to play the drums. It had everything from how to read, learning to read rolls, jazz breaks, rock beats, um, wedding band beats, ethnic beats. It had everything in it, including the rudiments as well. So the 26 standard American rudiments are all contained within this book. Now, one of the things that I tell people about this book and why I think it's so good is because I couldn't read music until I bought this book and I taught myself to read through this book by working through this book because it was just so well laid out. It just goes to show how well written this book is. So Joel Rothman's Basic Drumming, you can still get it today. This book, uh, you know, it's, it's fallen to bits. I've tried to rebind it. Um, I should really get myself a new copy. Perhaps I can get an autographed copy from Joel himself. And Joel is still writing books. Like Joel is just so active in the, uh, you know, the, the education um, side of drumming. So anyway, this is the first book and one of the most important books that I that I ever got. And, and, I, and, and I cherish this, I cherish this book and I cherish this copy of this book. So when I eventually found a teacher, which was Frank Corniola here in Melbourne, Melbourne, first book I bought under his guidance um, so that he could teach me to read further was this book. This is the famous book by Ted Reed, Syncopation. So this is the copy I bought when I was 15. Um, it's like completely fallen apart, but I really do love this book and I have gotten so much out of this book, not just as a reading book, but also just ways to interpret the reading exercises within this book. It's endless. There is so much information available online as to how you can practice through this book. Um, I've been uploading some videos on how to use uh, the syncopation exercise number one, which is in this book, page 37, not 38. Um, anyway, this is a great book and again, one of the key uh, influential books in my learning um, and also in my teaching. And this is one of the few books that I've, you know, gone from beginning to end. Like I've actually played through the whole book from beginning to end. Now I haven't done that with all of the books. So um, this is one of them. So Seek a Patient by Ted Reed, an absolute must have. During my time learning from Frank Corniola, he got me into the 26 standard American snare drum rudiments and we worked through this book, which is kind of commonly known as the NARD book, the National Association of Rudimental Drummers. And this book is absolutely stunning, or at least this publication of this book is stunning. So I'm just gonna open up a page for you, any page. You can see that all of the notation is handwritten and it is absolutely beautiful. It really is um, a, a gorgeous timestamp of, of the work that had gone into this. Um, unfortunately and regrettably, this book has been republished and someone has actually decided to recopy all of the music just using some kind of notation software and has absolutely decimated the beautiful character of this book. Whoever made that decision really needs to step down from their role of whatever it was. It's, a, it's, a, it's very sad. I can't even bring myself to buy or even look at the new version of this book, but this is um, the Nard book. It's, it's stunning. So um, a great fun book. If you just open up any page and, and just play through any any of these pieces they're just so gorgeous so yeah that's that's the nard book an absolute must have is george lawrence stone's stick control uh, i went through parts of this book when i had lessons with joe morello in fact on my very first lesson with joe morello 
uh, he said to me, uh, do you have a copy of Stick Control with you? And I said, no, I left my copy back in Australia. So I went out to uh, a music store in New York and bought another copy of it so that uh, I could study through this book with Joe. I only had a few lessons with Joe, but uh, he really insisted upon you know, getting this book. So um, I did uh, quite a few pages out of this book with Joe um, in addition to just some other pages that uh, I worked on with myself. Uh, a classic, an absolute classic book. Uh, great. It's really just learning how to make the stick sound good. You know, really playing evenly, but, but just a great handbook. So George Lawrence Stone's Stick Control. When I was about 18, I had lessons with Virgil Donati and Virgil Donati had a really great book collection and got me into a few different books. One of those books was this fantastic book by Colin Bailey called Bass Drum Control. And uh, I'd never worked from this book until I had lessons with Virgil and uh, he, he taught me how to practice through it. We really worked on accuracy and um, coordination with this book. There's an exercise in this book that I take all of my students through and I think it's called um, a Bass Drum Endurance Exercise. Highly recommend this book. There's some video footage of uh, Colin Bailey playing through exercises in this book you can find online. Absolutely extraordinary bass drum technique. Um, heel down as well. Incredible. So, Bass Drum Control by Colin Bailey. Another book that I got into practicing from while I was learning from Virgil Donati was this book. Odd Time Reading Text by Louis Belson. Now, although I do recommend this book for Odd Time Reading, it's really fantastic. You'll have to sift your way through several uh, copying errors. There are some bars that actually don't quite add up to the uh, suggested time signature that they're in. This is another great book that uh, I recommend Odd Time Reading by Louis Belson. Speaking of Louis Belson, this is another book that my first teacher, Frank Corniola, got me into, and this is the 4-4 uh, Reading Text by Louis Belson. This is a great book for getting your reading together. There's one mistake, there's a 5-4 bar in this book. It may have been fixed um, since I bought this copy. And just bearing in mind that so far, all the books that I've shown you, I bought you know, back in the 1980s. So there've been reprints and republications and all that sort of stuff since. So some of these errors may have actually been um, fixed. But anyway, 4-4 uh, four, four reading text, Louis Belson, highly recommended. Again, this is one of those books where I've worked on from beginning to end. Um, and I should point out that a lot of the books that I have in my collection along here, uh, I've only worked through certain pages. I haven't played the book from the front all the way through to the back. And that's okay too, because sometimes a, a book might just be there for reference. You know, there might be just certain pages that you practice and that you refer to when you need to work on certain things. So don't feel the need to work on the book from beginning to end. It's not always like that. You don't always buy books for that reason. Sometimes you might buy a book just because there's one chapter in it that you really like. So no pressure to finish a book. Another great book, uh, like a really great book, is this book by Joe Morello called Master Studies. So when I went to New York and managed to get lessons with Joe Morello, I actually had this book with me, not knowing that I was actually gonna get lessons with Joe Morello. So um, I brought this book to my lesson with Joe and he, uh, very kindly autographed it. And that's just such a treasure um, for me to have Joe's autograph in this, um, I think first publication of this book. So that's Master Studies by Joe Morello. There are so many, so many great exercises in this book. And I, I would say that this, is, this book is kind of an extension of stick control. So while I was learning from Joe, we were doing um, exercises and, and, and things to practice from stick control, as well as Master Studies. So Master Studies, Joe Morello, he's got a follow-up book to this, which I've not actually practiced, but uh, this one's a great one. Check out his books, Master Studies and I think Master Studies too. I think one of the greatest books of the past 20 or 30 years is this one. This is John Riley's Art of Bop Drumming. And the reason why I say that is it is an absolute, complete, one-stop jazz drumming book. Everything from comping, soloing, understanding forms, brush patterns, a, a really great discography of records to check out, a great list of drummers to check out. It really is 
the the jazz drumming book, the one stop jazz drumming book, uh, The Art of Bop Drumming by John Riley. Highly recommend it if you want to get into playing jazz. The next one's a kind of book package, a book cassette package. Again, this is one I bought, I think when it first came out in 1987 and this book absolutely just, I became obsessed with it. And that is Contemporary Drummer Plus One by Dave Weckl. I just, I was obsessed and I practiced this um, just every day. I had such a great time. I was recording myself playing along to the tunes. A, a, a great learning package for me at that time. Um, check this out. Cassette, it came with a cassette, cassette. Anyway, so that's uh, Contemporary Drummer Plus One by Dave Weckl. I highly recommend it. This one has a special place in my heart. Contemporary Drummer Plus One, Dave Weckl. The next book is the book that changed the way I play the drums. I don't say that flippantly. Um, I really mean that. When I started working from this book, I really noticed a change in the way I sounded and in the way I played time. And if I had to be stuck on an island with just one drum book and a drum set, this would be the book. Again, a book and cassette package. I bought this in the early 90s, I believe. Um, Future Sounds by David Garibaldi. This is an incredible book. Uh, it gave me in incredible insight into Dave's style of playing and then Dave's style of teaching. I can't recommend this book enough. Future Sounds by David Garibaldi. I would say it's probably my favorite book. Another book that I worked on when I was learning from Frank Corniola was this book. I just happened to have a copy of this. This was given to me by a friend. This is a very early publication of um, a, a Buddy Rich book. I'm not exactly sure how old this is, but this is called The Science and Art of Drumming by Gene Krupa. And and it's in pretty decent condition. Again, it was given to me by a friend who couldn't read music. He just happened to have these books lying around. He gave them to me sometime in the early 1980s when I was taking drum lessons. I haven't actually worked out of this book. It's been more of a museum piece, but I should actually work out of this book as I did with the Buddy Rich book. Um, I, I should just check it out and see what it's all about. But for me, it's just been one of those things that I've really uh, loved looking at and admiring for its historical significance. Gadaments by Steve Gadd. <sighs> uh, uh, this, is, this is one of my all time favorite books now. I take students through this book. We'll just open up a page and work through it together as a form of warming up and, and just getting our hands kind of lubricated before a lesson. I've got an autographed copy. I couldn't help myself. Uh, this is Gadaments by Steve Gadd. I highly recommend this book if you're into that kind of snare drum rudiment phrasing style or if you're just crazy about Steve Gadd or you're just crazy about improving. So there's a little insight into the books that have influenced me, the books that I've practiced out of. You know, I'm sure it's different for other people. If you have any recommendations or if you want to mention the books that you're working on currently or books that have been really influential to you, um, leave a comment below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so already, subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when I've uploaded a book, which is every week. So until next week, have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.